Just thought I'd give you a quick um, update on the radial flow filter. Now all of the wastewater that comes out of the um, filter goes into this IBC, which is going to get some air stones in there to turn into a mineralization filter or mineralization tank. And um, then this water will be then recycled back into the system, solids drained off and onto the um, gardens, or the dirt gardens. I've also redesigned the um, the part of the filter that directs the water down. I've seen Earth and Group's one and Rob Bob's new one and it just seems to make more sense. Cut a hole in the top of the lid, bucket down, then you can actually see what's going on, which is a plus. Um, so I'll see if I can pull this out. And to extend it a bit more, I've just cut up an old bus, uh, an old bucket. Just don't tell the missus. And um, stainless steel bolts to hold it in place. So that will go over the top of that centre pipe, which will direct the water pretty much to the bottom of the tank. And then uh, it'll come up on the outside of the bucket. Um, and with the water flow direction change, the solids in theory should be at the bottom. So this just goes back over the centre. Like so. Now the water's coming up the centre, has to be forced all the way to the bottom, and then once it gets to the bottom, in order to get out, it has to come back up again. So that direction change should make all the solids drop. Now you can't see it here because the outlet pipe's on the other side of this bucket, in between the gap, between here and here. Um, so now the water flows up and the clean water should go out there through the outlet and into the greenhouse. From the previous side of the greenhouse, the pipe going through the wall, that's it there down the bottom. And that runs the whole length of the greenhouse. And then I've got these little upstands with a tap on them. The water then comes up out of those and into the grow beds. Currently I've got them all set on constant flood. So uh, what that means is uh, about an inch under here, you'll see some water. And that's regulated at the right height by this upstand in here. Now that's the same for all of these beds. They all operate the same. Then underneath, coming out of the IBC via a uh, tank fitting. Follow this back, all the way back into the main thumb tank, which is too dark to see. Now in that thumb tank is the water pump, which pumps the water back to the fish tank. Now that, is the one inch pipe that you can see I'm not sure if you can see but there's a there's a one inch line of pipe that runs all the way back to the fish tank uh, and that's how the system recirculates so the only really loss of water I have is through evaporation or if well that's about it Unless something stuffs up, but that doesn't really happen. So as you can see, it definitely works. There's tomatoes everywhere, there's plants everywhere. All of the nice bacteria is in amongst these grow beds, which act as a... Um, I suppose if you think of it more like a tropical fish tank, that you've got the external canister filter, which has got all the different kinds of... Um, media in there, uh, biomedia and mechanical filtration. Basically these do that. So if you think of the whole system as one massive fish tank and there's plants planted in the filter itself. That's the easiest way I find to explain it.
Um, the only thing I'm going to add next to the system will be a an additional um, moving bed biofilter, which is uh, what I think Rob Rob Bob's making at the moment and the Earthan Group what they use. That will allow me to increase the fish density in the system. As I was saying before, that one inch pipe that comes from the sump tank is this pipe right here. Um, that runs alongside the slow or the solids lifting outlet. If you can see them. And that goes underground and into the greenhouse. So the water from the sump comes up through here and into the fish tank. If it'll focus. Now I've added some extra holes in here and all that does is suck a bit of air in and give a little bit of extra um, aeration into the water. It's not essential because I've got bubblers everywhere in here. Plenty of air already going on in this tank but more is not going to hurt so why not. In here we've got a few quail. I moved them out of the greenhouse because it was too hot in there over summer. Uh, we've got two females up front and the male up the back and they pop out well the females pop out eggs like there's no tomorrow which uh, they taste just like chicken eggs they're really nice actually they, about three quail eggs is equivalent to one chicken egg um, but since we put the male in there we're not going to touch them because we're trying to get some baby chickens or baby quails which will be nice um, just got to remember to keep your stocking density right um, you can only have one male per, I think it's four females, otherwise the males will all kill each other. So, once we get some babies, we eat all the males. Yum yum.